Hey YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be streaming, not streaming, uh, recording the finals of our Untap Open League. Ready to go. I've held them up long enough. This is the modern Untap Open League Season 7. My internet is being exactly as slow as you just saw, so I apologize for that. Uh, we can see their hands. The matchup is uh, on the bottom. You see Grix's Shadow from, I believe, Teamer for Light. Yep. And let me turn the brightness up just a mite. It's not usually something you hear me say. And then on the top, we have Bant Company from Ostawart, uh, aka. I have no idea. Alright, so <laughs> good luck, have fun. And uh, let me. I'm going to check OBS every now and then just to make sure that I'm recording. And also, let's see how much time we have left on the card. Okay, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is going to be a best of five, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try... I'm hoping that we're going to have enough time through this so we see a Thought Seize coming from Shadow. Typical. Typical. Although... Uh, what's the life total here? It's supposed to be Fetch, Shock, Thoughtseize. So, I'm assuming we're gonna take something and then resolve it down to 15. I'm assuming. Yeah, and by the way, that hand, uh, four mana dorks and a Gavany Township. I, I guess that's a game plan. And yeah, we got we got down to 15. Hey, we got there. Uh, T1 Glisterof not feeling so well, so, uh, I'm gonna have some coffee, have some cafeve real quick. And, uh, this is going to go up way before... I'm, there's a backlog for my videos. This is going up much sooner because we've got ourselves a game. And this is finals. People are going to be waiting to see it. Da 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 da. Alright. Temple Garden Bird. Makes sense. Man, that voice. That seems okay in the match. That seems just a little alright. Whew. It's just my stomach doing backflips, that's all. I'll live. I'll live. Alright. And, uh, yeah, another watery grave. Into serum. Yep, there we go. Alright. Bobble time. Now, sadly, I can't see what those two cards are. Uh, it's just gonna be for them, so... Alas. What can you do? You can scoot a little closer, Jay. Oh, there we are. It is 400 degrees in this room. That's not helping. <laughs> that is absolutely not helping. All right. Well, hmm. Yeah, so down to 10. Uh, Street Wraith Cycling, Mishra's Bobble. Popping it now, apparently. See what that card might be. Uh, well, never mind. I guess we don't get to see it. Ostward does. We, however, do not. And, lo and behold, the 5-5. Five -five. Gurmog Angler showing up to the party. I miss the good old days of Tassiger being in this list, but... No, this makes sense. This makes good sense. Yeah, Bobble Tree... Uh, There we go. Alright. Uh, it's not being revealed, but they know what it is, so, you know, it is what it is. Given that the identity of the, what is it, Sun Petal Grove? Yeah, given that that was the card that was known, I think that it's smarter... No, it's a Rising Canopy. Okay, so maybe you don't want to take the one. Maybe, maybe there's that. But that's the known card, so I, I think I would have played that out instead if it were me. I think that the one point is worth hiding that information, because now all the cards in the hand are known, so full information here. Uh, yeah, Gurmog Angler doing its thing. We're gonna run the voice, or run it into the voice of Resurgence. Find out this time on Dragon Ball Z. I realize for this video I'm going to have a slightly more, um, international audience. So Dragon Ball Z. I'll just cover all my bases. Whew. It is hot in here. Okay. 
Yeah, moving to main phase two. Um... So, just from what we have here, we haven't seen a land played, because it hasn't been played. Um, we can hold up Snapcaster Fatal Push, and that seems to make the most sense to me. Um, oh, or Fatal Push, and we can also have a Snapcaster, I mean. We don't have enough mana for Fatal Push, Snapcaster, Fatal, fatal Push. So we're just doing that now. I mean, you know that there's another bird in hand, um, but that said, when the Gavany comes out, I guess if you don't get rid of the bird, then Gavany, let's look at that to make sure. Yeah, so it's two, or it's four mana and tap it. So if you didn't get rid of the bird there, the Gavany could come down and then you could start, you know, building up counters and trying to win that way. So I, that makes sense, actually. I, I do appreciate that. So taking the one off Horizon Canopy, should be. Have we, uh, have we done that yet? Oh no, it's it's the cycling. Okay, okay, cool. Alright, there we go. Into a Boyd. Hi, Boyd. Hmm. Looks like voice is swinging for all of two. I mean, you do what you have to do. There is a path in hand, so if a Death Shadow comes out, you can afford to get a little bit more aggressive. You have something for it. Um, and yes, Stubborn Denial's a card, but you, sometimes you just kind of have to go for it. Whew! Man. Alright, so just from what we see here, there's one card in the yard. Um, and we should be looking at just Fatal Push. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> My computer's being a little slow. Uh. Hmm. Alright. So... What's going on? Oh, no. Page unresponsive. Yeah, that's on my end. Yikes. Okay, well, on that note, um... Um... Snap. Reload, reload. How is your day? I'm fine. Shut up. It's telemarketing, invariably. Alright, so we're back. We're back. Check OBS to make sure. Yep, we're back. Alright. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so we see the township out. Uh, Fatal Push is exiled, so that Snapcaster... Yeah, okay, so you can see what happened there. Snapcaster, flashback, Fatal Push. Doesn't usually ring this long, though. It did today. <laughs> Alright. So, block, trade, make our token. It'll be a 2-2. Two -two. And I hear that's an okay card. Okay, so they're actually going to represent it. Uh, those aren't counters, YouTube, just to be clear. That's number of creatures. Um, it's, not my, it's not my preference doing it this way, because it's usually the kind of thing that you can just derive from looking at it. But And now that there's a Gavany Township, it can complicate things, but I think it'll be alright. I think it'll be alright. As you can see, since there's not a path in hand, path went... You know, path was used on an angler. Um, we see one card in the yard. And we're, we're quickly building up to getting another Gurmog angler. Well, actually, two cards in the yard. What is this fatal push? Oh, there it is right now. Okay. Ta-da! Fair enough. All right. So we effectively broke even on mana there, because spin a mana to gain a 
mana for Grimog Angler. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Checking the timer, still got 50 minutes left on it. Thinking. Not checking my phone. KKKK, KK. Thankfully we missed, we, we missed a particular number of Ks. Thankfully. Ooh. All right, passing the turn. All right, let's see what happens. This is interesting. I'm not entirely sure why we're doing this. Um, why we're not playing out the Gurmog Angler using all of our mana. Maybe it's... Well, I mean, there's not a Snapcaster in hand. We're holding up the Stubborn Denial for a Coco, but with that much mana, assuming they have even one land in hand... Okay. And also, that was a fetch land, too. So, they could have had their cake and eaten it, too. Getting, getting out the Gurmog Angler, which will then turn on Stubborn Denial. Um, but, I'm just a streamer. Streamer. Maybe it's a bluff, and a Shadow Player might be able to tell... might be able to say what they could have been bluffing better, other than Stubborn Denial. Uh, so, Visions, of course into Thought Scour. Okay. You know, why... <laughs> why cast a Gurmog Angler for anything more than one mana? <laughs> uh. So, Watery Grave, Thought Scour, have enough in the yard, uh, Gurmog Angler off the swamp, and we'll still have blue for Stubborn Denial. I hear this deck is okay. <laughs> I hear it's okay, folks. It looks consistent. Now, I, I, granted, I play a deck that doesn't care about the life total, so on the one hand, it doesn't push them further, and on the other hand, it doesn't punish them for going low like Burn does. Oh, hi, Shadow. Whale. Now, pardon for not having access to deck lists. Let's see. Uh, that I can show everybody, unfortunately. Not this time. Uh, let's see. Do we have a Dryad Arbor we can use for a quick chump here? I do not see Dryad Arbor, uh, unfortunately. Because it is not there. Okay, so that's not going to be an option. We can't fetch for an Arbor just for a chump in this situation. We do have a Voice of Resurgence, so that's, that's okay. I hear that's alright. And Coco's not an out with that Stubborn Denial. You know, it's 13 minus 6, we're looking at a 7-7 seven, seven Death Shadow. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun to deal with. Speaking of Coco, uh... Ta-da! Now that's, that's interesting. I... I'm sure that Teamer for Life knows something I don't know, but usually I see that targeting oneself. Um, I'm not sure what, what the reasoning was there. Especially with a, this is a, this is a ghost quarter. There is a Moreland Haunt in the deck, and they both have access to each other's deck list, so they know Moreland Haunt is a potential card. It is just a one of, though. Um, and Moreland Haunt can make things a little tricky for Death Shadow because it puts out a blocker every turn. It's just a 1-1 one, one flyer, but still. Alright. <sighs> Give me just a moment to feel better. <laughs> Alright, so we're still in main phase 1 on Teamer's turn. Death Shadow deciding whether or not to... Oh, here we go. Looking in chat. What's going on? Pass turn, no response, alert response. So is this supposed to be something at end of turn? Maybe? And there's also some possibility that they're communicating with each other on Discord. I, w I wouldn't 
think so because there's a chat function here and streamers get to see. Um, what? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. What? What's going on? Okay? You type that real quick. Nani? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's going on, so while, while that's working, how was your day? <laughs> I may have asked that already. Shoutouts to Coffee for keeping me awake. Um, genius that I am, if your stomach is doing flips, coffee is generally not where you want to be. But I need some caffeine to stay awake, so we're going for tea next time. Strictly better. Alright, just a, just a miscommunication, that's all. It happens. Alright. Yeah, we're not trying to do any end-of-turn shenanigans. Or upkeep, or what have you. Alright, so this looks like a... it still looks like a pretty commanding spot. Of course. Uh, now one thing to note, since they have access to each other's deck list, and again, I apologize that this is not something that you can see. Um, let's see. Make sure that I'm looking at the, the right person's list before I lead you astray. Okay, cool. So here's the, here's the deck list, and I'm seeing how many basic mountains? None. Okay, so there is a ghost quarter here, and the ghost quarter could be used on the Blood Crypt. I assume it's not because we would need to save mana for Gavney Township to use that uh, down the road. I assume. However, it could be used to cut off, uh, cut off Teamer from red mana. So, uh, that is an option. Now, on the other hand, if you fire off the ghost quarter, there is another land in hand. Um, so that, that is perhaps important to note. Um, and there's good old Gurmog Angler. As you do. As you do, just clog up the field on your side. This isn't exactly a deck that has a lot of ways out of it from here. Um, you know, no mainboard supreme verdicts or anything like that. And so, I'm not sure what gets you out, to be honest. Let's see. Going back and looking at the deck list, and I apologize. Now, if you're watching this from the Untap Open League, uh, you'll be able to see their decks. You'll you'll have that, and I will put something in the description, whether it's the Excel worksheet or just deck list. I'll just put deck list. Why not? Um, but looking through here, yeah, there's nothing in the main board. I have seen decks like this, uh, like a Craig Wesco Selesnya Taxes, or something as such able to run Wraths in the sideboard. Um, this is not what's going on here. And, ta-da, there's a GG off the Deputy of, of Detention. So, Ghost Quarter your own land, yeah, GG. Alright, so here, that, that's what we're doing. Being a little, little cheeky. Okay, no sideboard, not now. Yeah, because this is a best of five. So, in best of fives, they're doing it in Worlds format. Uh, I'm going to take a touch of a break between games two and three to try to unload the, the card here so that I have enough space to keep it going. Alright, so they're, they've are they already done their mulligans. They're both, well, I see KK. I, see, I don't know if that's just okay or keep. No, no, never mind. Same person. Jay, you're a genius. You're a genius. <sighs> okay, so looking at that hand, we're seeing... Um, I mean, it's, it's actionable, it's capable. Early interaction off Inquisition and Fatal Push. You've got payoff cards in Snapcaster and... Um, real quick. Ostawort, may I see your hand? Play, we got there. Never mind. I'm gonna actually hold that because there's a chance that this might stay revealed to spectators afterwards, in the same way that Teamer for Life is doing. All right, but yeah, looking at this hand, we see yeah one lander with a bird. So gee, I wonder what we're gonna take here. Gee, I wonder. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Yeah. Oh, okay. So we had a, a little uh, kerfuffle, a little faux pas with uh, with Untap, where the hand was set to be permanently revealed rather than just this once. We're taking the path. Now that's that's interesting to me. We know that there's a fatal push, um, and taking the path is some insurance against the Gurmog angler. I'm not. That you know that's that's correct. That's the correct thing. Although this does definitely reveal. Hey, look, I have Fatal Push. You know, there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it now. So if you play a land... Why did you play that instead of the Temple Garden? Wasn't the... No, never mind. Never mind. We, we, that's the Misty. Okay. You're a genius, Jay. You're a genius. Alright, so first we're going to do Thought Seize. I wake up. Wake up. You see these? I, I told you I haven't been feeling good. <laughs> Alright, so Thought Seize dropping two again. Um, now that you've taken both the bird and the path, or I mean, not yet, I haven't taken the bird yet, but you're about to. Um, yeah, the Pride Mage makes... How many enchantments or artifacts are there, actually, that it can destroy? Mishra's Bobble, but not really, because that can just be sacked in response. Am I missing something? He says as he goes to check the, the list again, um, hmm, I mean, it is a two-drop, so there is that. If we were in sideboarded games, you could use it for uh, Graft Digger's Cage, for Coco. Uh, there is a knight, however, for that, too. Gurmog is looking really sweet against that Spell Queller, um, which I think normally would be what I'd be more worried about, since you know about it, and now there's a Death Shadow, so... Um, but... Here we are, we have Thought Scour targeting self. Yep, it looks like it's resolving. Alright. That is one tasty looking graveyard. Oh, yep. <laughs> Never mind, what graveyard? Leaving just the fatal push, as you do. Gurmog Angler. Yeah, that's a thing, bud. That's a thing. Unfortunately, because the life total is lo not low enough, you can't get out the Death Shadow yet. Because, well, you'd want to here because of Spell Queller. Um, trying to get around that. There is... Uh, I mean, this is going to be a bit of a pain. And all other non-land permanents that player controls with the same name. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. That said, Snapcaster Fatal Push. <laughs> so... It's not quite the end of the world. Not again. Not again. Why must you do this to me? Okay, okay. Okay. Death Shadow as a 4-4. Four, four. That seems fine. That seems fair. Dropping a Noble Hierarch. Just have to ramp ourselves a little bit. Uh, looks like we might be... Well, there's a Stubborn Denial, too. This is a creature-heavy match, though, so you save it for the the Coco. You know about the Spell Queller and the uh, the Knight, but we're not getting to seven mana for Coco Spell Queller. And there's... Okay. So here we go. Snapcaster Fatal Push. Yep, just keep you off that third mana source. As you do. And that's game two. All right. Five minutes for sideboard. This is my way of, of saying but not saying I need time to get the card off. So I'm going to see you all later. I'll see you in just a bit. And we're back. And they both revealed. All right, so there we go. They're both keeping. Whew. I'll have to go and uh, get my tea in just a bit. Right now, they are waiting on me, or were waiting on me. So, uh, once again, we're seeing... Okay, so that's uh, three lands and a... Well, four lands, excuse me, that's a rising canopy, and a bird. <laughs> okay, but not a lot of payoffs, but... You know, Deputy of Detention's fine, <laughs> as you know. All right, so let's see. On the other side, we're seeing... I mean, three lands is, is a lot for the deck. 
uh, plus you've got the bobble, but you have everything you need. Uh, you know, Thought Scour to fuel that good old Gurmog Angler, Serum Visions to find you what you need. Um, so cards they'd be looking for. Let's see. It looks like out of Grix's shadow, so the Graph Digger's Cage is kind of a given. It shuts off Collected Company. Um, however, there's not much else that it does in the matchup. It, it's still a creature mid-range deck, and it can just go off in that way. Um, otherwise, there's some some cute things it can do. Grim Lava Mancer to deal with some to deal with cards over and over again is fine. A brutality to kill some creatures. You can go more all in on the combo with Teamer Battle Rage and Liliana or uh, Kolagon's Command can similarly deal with creatures. But taking out stuff and is kind of the trick. So let's see. We have. We have... Stop on your upkeep. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, so it... Let's see... Yeah, the bobble. So stop on upkeep to draw off bobble. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. And we're fetching, and we're gonna do something about the bird, I guess. Yep, we're doing something about it right now. That makes sense before moving on to main phase where you can actually use the bird for stuff. Okay, so I, I mentioned Moreland Haunt earlier. This is Moreland Haunt. If you don't know this card, take a take a look. It's basically gonna turn dead creatures into eh creatures, but creatures nonetheless. Chump blockers, they have evasion. With Gavity Township, they're actually a real threat. Um, and it, it's fine just to have as a one of, to be sure, I would say. Uh, one of the joys of playing Bant is that you get to have that. Get to have access to that. Alright, so we have another land. Uh, into Voice Presume. Yep, there he is. So taking the one from Horizon Canopy into Voice of Resurgence. Ta da! Okay. Another Gurmog Angler. Now, Gurmog is a really good card, and if any deck can have multiples, it's this one. Uh, but you still don't usually want to see multiples. Uh, it can. It can take a while to refill your yard to get one in. Uh, sometimes a while is a turn. Sometimes it can just kind of be stuck there. Um, plus you're dealing with a deck that happens to run this card, so... Eh. Alright. But it's, it's fine, to be sure. Whew. Into Gurmog Angler. And... We're just leaving good old Dismember in the yard. <sighs> Alright, so options from the opponent. You can play the bird here and save Ether Mage, Vidalkin Ether Mage. Or, excuse me, Vidalkin Ether Mage. It's a Vidalkin, but oh my goodness. Deputy of Detention. Uh, or you can just do it right now. Um, I think one of the advantages to playing the bird is that you give yourself more mana to work with later which means you threaten things like uh, Coco and Company sooner, uh, but also you get to save the Deputy just in case they play another one, which, of course, is exactly what's going to happen. That said, again, the deck does take a little time to reload, so you don't have to worry about the second Gurmog Angler immediately thereafter most of the time. Most of the time. Alright, so we're seeing a Serum Visions into a Collective Brutality. Now that's a card. Uh, take a look at Deputy of Detention. It, has, it is three toughness, so it won't save your Gurmog Angler, uh, but, you know, Fatal Push will. So there you go. Ta-da! And the other modes can be a, a little awkward sometimes, un unless you have a hard read that they have a Path or a Coco, Looking at the hand for an instant or sorcery doesn't necessarily net you anything, but you might still want to discard anyway because Gurmog Angler. Um, and then Drain 2 in the Death Shadow deck isn't always where you want to be. Uh, so, pathing the, shad uh, the Gurmog Angler, no search. Hello. I, I could have sworn that I remembered there being an island in the deck. There is, there is an island. Um, is it, did I, did I miss it going to the yard somewhere? Or going to exile? No? 
I don't know then. I'm not sure why no search. Maybe you have enough mana already and you're you're making them think you have an island in hand? Or a swamp? That's interesting. Alright, kill voice and you discard, so okay. So last card's a land, so no big deal there, but now you trade a two for two for a two two. Um, that's gonna be a three three because of Moreland Haunt. And then get out the Death Shadow. Okay. So, um, that's an 8 8. That's a lot of fun. And hi, Coco. Hey, there we go. I mean, seems good. The more I think about it, the more I like uh, not fetching out the island because it gives your opponent a false impression of what you have. Okay, so. Spell Queller, how are you tab- <laughs> Oh, because there's a bird! That's interesting. I, that is that is true. Um, that's important. All lands, okay. Um, just, just a mistake, it happens. Okay. Still haven't tapped them yet, though. Um, still haven't tapped them just yet. But yeah, it, it does make sense here. Although that's a Horizon Canopy, the only reason I can think of you wouldn't want to do that is saving your your canopy uh, so you don't take one and uh, maybe if you find a land some you don't find a land off coco but like that's it basically the one life but bird can tap for any color um, which makes a big deal in this deck yeah one spell queller that's that's not quite where you want to be we'd like to see a four four there as a uh, as a token All right so swinging in. Assuming no tricks, which is, of course, never how this works. Now, that's interesting. Um, we're just jumping with the bird. When you only have a 2-2 and a 3-3 to work with, you don't have to play the fetch to represent greater damage. You don't have to do that. All right. Well... Okay, okay, so now we're doing... we're using Brutality. And, and this makes sense, so we're drain- wait, do we just drain two? Okay, so it's a slightly smaller Death Shadow, although it doesn't change the clock here, unless I'm missing something. Um, that said, there is a Moreland Haunt out, so this this might- getting through this without a Team or Battle Rage, or another removal spell, might take a little while. Um, but yeah, you have to use the Brutality there for that very reason. Gurmog Angler, so now we have two, so, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, that's a, that's a Ghost Quarter. You know what? In order to actually use the Moreland Haunt, you have to tap the Horizon Canopy, so you're going to take one no matter what. Hmm, that's interesting. We're doing it now, though, or are we cycling? We're cycling, okay. Um... Not the land I would have tapped for that. I would have threatened a blocker, but I'm just a streamer. Um, just tap a ghost quarter instead is what I would have done. That's all. Um, let's see. If, if you're going to do that. Um, so, yeah, no matter what here, we're taking at least five, or we're taking lethal if that's a removal spell. And that's a Grim Lava Mancer, so that's not quite the removal spell I meant, but that does make Moreland Haunt a little awkward. A lot awkward, actually. So swinging in, as you do, taking five, going to six. And then Grim Lava Mancer comes out. No matter what you do with the haunt, your your token's gonna die. So what, what could save here? Um, a co collected company off the top into how many Deputy of Detentions are in this deck? Let's see. Um, I'm seeing four, actually, so that's that's a possibility. Let's see, you take five. Okay, so a Coco into some number of Deputy of Detentions. That number hopefully being two. <laughs> but, uh, alas, GG. That was a quick finals. Wow.
All right. Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, they're not done yet. They're not done yet. Because I, I forgot who won game one. Yeah, the, the, the deputy. Ah, okay. You know what? I am going to take the opportunity to grab some tea. So I'll be right back while they're deciding. All right, and we're back. I'm sorry that took so long. I told you I'm not feeling well, so just something to keep my head in the game would be nice. All right, so yeah, we see good old voice. So looks like tap land uh, and then next turn voice. Um, this is an end of turn thought scour. I know that you're looking at Teamer for Life's turn. What probably happened is that they clicked pass and then yet yeah, EOT. Okay. Oh no, that's interesting. Voices on the stack. Okay. Da da da. All right. Cool. Thought says. Uh, okay. Now while this thought sees is being resolved, uh, genius that I am. So generally speaking, I like tea when I'm not feeling well. Uh, but when your room is 4,000 degrees, it may not be the, the greatest idea. Um, this is not super cold, sweet southern tea. This is some peppermint green tea. Which is about as... Um, as classy as I get. Classy. Mm. Alright, Blood Crypt into... Good old Death Shadow. A 1-1 one, one Death Shadow. I mean, yeah. It's an efficient usage of mana. Hmm. Alright. Basic planes. What do we have? Ta da! Misty can't get planes. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. There we go. Uh, I, ad admittedly, I may have done that a time or two, so I can't. I can't really be a critic. Unfortunately, no. Alright. Hmm. That's always fun. Get out the de the deputy early. I was looking at the so there's a Kuligon's command in hand, which can go get back a creature, and that creature could be Street Wraith. That's not usually what you want to do, uh, but this is a path deputy of detention deck, so a lot of the times they're going to be getting rid of your creature through exile, and so it can make sense when you Kuligon's command just to cycle. On the other hand, well, geez. Okay, we're going to eight. We're we're not paying any life off that. Uh, even so, it's still a five five. So that's more than respectable. <laughs> more than respectable. Since we already know about the misty rainforest, and since you can play the horizon canopy late. Oh, hello. Wait, we already know about the. Okay, it's okay. It is what it is. So it does mean they'll be taking one here. Osterwort will be taking one. Horizon Canopy tends to be the last uh, land that I tap or play. Partially because I don't want to take the damage, and partially because I can play it just to cycle later on. Um. It has utility when you get flooded. Or you're just digging for an answer. Okay, so we still haven't tapped the lands yet. Um, got a friend. Hey, buddy. How are you? There we go. We got there. We got there, folks. Alright. Well. Just checking that real quick. Now, looking at Deputy of Detention, let's see, 
I, I must have missed something. Oh no, this is it's been Reflector Mage back. Alright, stop on upkeep. Okay, so this is this is fun. Um oh oh no oh no oh no let's see if they catch it themselves kill voice and you discard okay that stupid tone okay let's see if they catch it Voice triggers, people? Did I did I miss something? Is that not cast a spell during your turn, or when voice of resurgence dies? Okay, so I'm not crazy. I swear. I'm super dead. Um I assume I'm allowed to intervene on stuff like that. Um think. Oh my god, please. This is just my day. <laughs> I don't usually get that many calls. I may get like one call a day. Okay, and there's that. So, uh, that happened. That happened. Um, yeah, looking at voice, I, I don't think that that's... Let me check just to make sure. Voice of Resurgence. I don't think that's a May. Otherwise, did I just... Uh... Yeah, the, if, so if this is MTGO, which it's not, it's, it's neither paper nor MTGO, but if it were MTGO, you can't miss that. The game will remind you. Oh, and it's also not a May anyway, so it's create a green and white elemental creature token, not you may create, da 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 Okay. So seeing seven cards here, and then six. Okay, fun. That's uh, that's not the way you want the last game to go. Whew. Okay. Um, yeah, seeing one land in a bobble, and some interaction on turn one. Thoughts he's and fatal push. So that seems alright. That seems alright. If you're gonna go to six, might as well be on the draw, but Thoughts he's is gonna, gonna make this tricky. Um, or not. We're not doing a turn one thought sees. That seems peculiar. If you have a hard read that they don't have a mana dork, then that, that makes sense not to, not to use it. We're doing it now. Okay, so, uh, right now we have a Gurmog Angler and a Death Shadow in hand, so that path seems like a decent choice. Um, they're on the draw, so it's going to take them a little bit longer, yeah, to get to the mana for Spell Queller. But if they do, that's double Spell Queller. Um, and since you don't have a Graph Digger's Cage, you're not as worried about the Knight. Not as worried. I mean, 3 mana 4 threes are fine, but Gurmog Angler's a 1 mana 5-5, five five, so, you know, as you do. Okay. Mm. And then, of course, there it goes. Um, well, good news, you can push it. it. wasn't pushed on... I mean, you can push it here. That's fine. Alright. Just getting our fetches done together. Oof. Okay. I see a Blood Crypt. And a Steam Vent. So we have... Let all the colors be equally distributed. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. This totally doesn't matter, but take away some points for the Blood Crypt and the Watery Grave not being on the other sides of each other, so the black will fade from one card to another. Absolutely disgraceful. No. <laughs> Alright, so Death Shadow, Fetch. I haven't gotten the life yet, so... It, oh, yeah. Should be going to 18 in just a moment. 18? 
Was it not two fetches? Did I? No, that's two fetches. Okay, we got there. We got there. Okay. Okay. So playing the horizon canopy out here. Um. Yeah, it might be, not main board. I, I had to... I had to think what that might have been. Okay, so Death Shadow swinging for all of three. No blocks. Um, well, you can make it more. You can. You're not. Well, that's, that's fair. Gives you the chance to hold up more, potentially. You, you really don't have to be all that aggressive here. Um, the onus is now on Ostawart to find something to do against you. Um, and if they do, they use up mana such that they can't spell queller necessarily. Unless they like top deck a path here, then they'll have path spell queller available. Uh, why are we doing this? No, no, it's Grimog. That's right. You can't spell queller Grimog. Okay. I saw three mana and no fetch. But, you know, when you have that many cards in the graveyard, I guess you can do that. Um, hmm. Okay. And it also, it also can make sense to do that because you potentially tell your opponent, I don't have Snapcaster in, in hand, because if I did, I'd try to leave some of these, you know, I'd try to leave the thought sees in. Maybe. Like, when you exile your whole graveyard, it can signal to the opponent, I don't have Snapcaster. Um, but of course, in this case, that's not it. Alright, so good old Coco. Let's see. Alright, so Knight. And a bird. Eh, that's... I mean, you do what you have to do. So assuming Knight goes into a 4-3, that means we're looking at a 4-3 and a 2-3 on defense uh, versus a 3-3 and a 5-5. Except that effectively Death Shadow is at least a 4-4 if not a 6-6. Uh, but instead we're doing 3 in the air, 2 and then Exalted. Um, okay, fair enough. It does grow the... Okay, so wait, what did we... What did we pick on the uh, the Knight of Autumn? I don't see counters here. Life total didn't go up, and I don't think there were any artifacts or enchantments out. So, um, what was Kill Knight? You discard. Let me let me let me check. Let me scroll up because I don't want to put something in chat and then. All right. Let's see. Spell Queller. Oh no, it's a bird. We already dealt with Jay. Wake up. Oh my god, wake up. It was a bird. Ah. Okay. Just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, anyone watching this on YouTube. No Johns, but I may not be feeling great. Okay. Alright, so cycling the horizon canopy. Fair enough. Got ourselves another noble. Uh, so that makes sense. You play it off the... Okay. Okay. See what modes are done? Wait. Is this an attack? Okay, so an advantage to doing it this way is that you can have the the knight as your chump blocker, hide the noble, and then play it next turn and have exactly lethal. Assuming that it'll survive. So this is interesting. Um, holy, holy crap. Never mind, we're going to one. We're going to one, folks. We're going to one. Uh, so we save the bobble. We... If if I see this correctly, we're gonna use the bobble this turn, tap the bobble this turn, and then um, 
you've triggered revolt, and there we go. Actually, never mind. We're at one, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I was going for maximum cuteness. You can drop the bobble, snap cast, or fatal push, and then swing. Um, good games indeed. Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh, all right. Um, if they haven't left, five finals. Okay. Five untapped open league finals in a row, winless. Oh no, that's that sucks. Man, I should hope so. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't know what I could say that wouldn't sound like rubbing salt in the wound. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a that's a good one. <laughs> When, when someone else has said it, I, I guess it's... Oh, whatever. That was super tight. Yeah, it sure was. All right. This is going up on YouTube Friday. Evening EST. Just to clarify. Banking on you not having the removal spell. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, it's a long tournament. I mean, whatever whatever misplays I can I can talk about. A, I'm just the streamer, um, so I, I get a different perspective. I also get to see both hands. And B, you you heard me <laughs> make some silly statements there too. Although C, I feel like I'm about to throw up, so I apologize. <laughs> Sure, T. I don't think I'm about to throw up. I think I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Yeah. Had to keep applying pressure. That made sense. Um, well, it didn't actually matter about the knight because of what was in hand. Um, playing the dork have won you the game overnight. Yeah, I was thinking that, but the answer is, I guess, no. And the reason that I say no is because instead it could have been fetch into the basic swamp that was still in the deck, um, and then go. So instead of being at one, it would they would have been at two because if they took if they shocked they'd be at zero. So instead we're just gonna fetch um, for a basic. I had snap in hand, so probably not. Yeah, in indeed. Still the same number of blockers, just one less life. Nah. So yeah. Uh, no, it, it would not have made a difference there. If the basic swamp had been gotten out of the deck, then the answer I think is yes. I'd have to look back at the video to make sure, but if you had to, you know, if that were the case, then maybe. Maybe not. Um, yeah, so there's that. That's it, Magic Community on YouTube. Take care. And I guess I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, real quick. Anything you would like to say before I hit stop? Yeah, it usually is not the greatest matchup for, for Grixis, for sure. My Cocos were lackluster. Yeah, there's that. Um, it, it happens, though, unfortunately. Um, not much you can do about that. Sometimes you just cocoa into mana dorks. Alright. Yeah, good good post-game interview. Woo! Yeah. Alright. I'd like to thank all my friends and family. <laughs> LOL. Huge thanks to Gabloon, also. I don't know who that is, but shoutouts to you. Uh, and Ghost Team Stormcrow? Are we gonna say that? Are we gonna say Go Team Stormcrow? 